Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today we are setting up the iPhone 13. This is the blue version. Very, very nice, really nice color. Great piece of kit. So here we are at the box. We'll take off the protective screen, put that to one side. This is what you get in the box. You get the charging cable and the pin that you need for putting your SIM card in. So Apple provide these phones with some charge on it. So the first thing to do is switch the phone on. So on the side with the single button, if you press and hold that button, that will activate the phone and we'll switch it on. So we can see the Apple symbol coming up now and then we will be into the welcome screen shortly. So just taking a few seconds to fire up and here we go. So really cool, nice graphics. And we've got hello in a variety of different languages. So the first thing to do is scroll up. So we'll scroll up and then we have to pick our language. So we're going to have English and then we need to pick our country. So for me here, it is United Kingdom. So we need to find United Kingdom. But obviously you pick whatever your country is. There's an option to set up manually or the quick start. So we will go with quick start menu. And it says here, Bring your current iPhone or iPad near to this phone to sign in and set up. So we will do that. So we'll just put this phone down for a second. And here's my iPhone 12 that we have been using. So I've got that here now. So bring your iPhone 12 and now it's come up. Set up new iPhone. So that just pops up as soon as these two phones are in close proximity. That happens. So unlock to continue. Do my face ID. OK, I've done that. Now it says use your Apple ID to set up your new phone. So we'll continue with that. Hold your new iPhone up to the camera. Position the pattern in the circle. So it's waiting for the other phone. So I'm now taking this. My existing phone has become has switched its camera mode on and I'll take that over. And then I've got to align up this circle here with the camera circle on my phone. So we're doing that. So I'll just get that lined up here. There we go, that's done that. Now it says, finish on new iPhone. Keep this iPhone near your iPhone while your information is transferred. And on here, it says, enter passcode of your other phone. So I need to enter the passcode for my existing phone onto the new one, so I'll just do that. So I put the passcode in. Now it says, setting up your iPhone. So it's all starting to happen. So the magic is now happening. So this is my iPhone 12. This is my new iPhone 13. It says it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. But basically now all of the data and everything that I've got on my existing phone is transferring over onto this iPhone 13. And now I've got Face ID request on my new iPhone 13. iPhone can recognize the unique three-dimensional features of your face. Continue. How to set up Face ID, get started. So this is whilst the transfer is still happening, I'm able to do my Face ID. Move your head slowly to complete the circle. So I'm turning from one side and then the other side. So I've done two scans of my face and Face ID is now set up. So I press continue on this. So Face ID is now set up, press continue. Transfer data from Joe's iPhone. So it's asking me if I want to transfer the data. So yes, we will continue with that. Setting up your Apple ID. So everything is now switching over. So really simple and easy, some terms and conditions. Obviously I've read all of those, agree to that. Make this your new iPhone. So it says that I want this to be my predominant phone. So yes, I'll continue with that. Previous cards. So quickly add the cards, keys and passage you have already used in wallet. So I'll continue with that. So that's basically using my payment card. So that's pretty handy that it's setting up Apple Pay already. That's saying add card. So I need to put the security code in. I'll just do that. So that's now updating the details for Apple Pay. Express mode enabled. Yes, I'll do that. Card verification. Using Apple Pay. 
Improve Siri and Dictation. Share audio recordings. Not now, I'll do that later. iPhone Analytics. Don't share that. Transferring data from Joe's iPhone. So you can see now that the data is transferring. So there is a little bar here. So I've got a lot of data. I've got a lot of videos and photos on my phone, which are now transferring across. So it's saying time remaining 57 minutes at the moment. So let's see how long it takes. Okay, so the transfer has taken around about an hour to complete. The Face ID, let's see if it's working on the new, yes, it's working. So now we have got the phone completely set up as it was. So this now looks like my iPhone 12 did before I started this process. Let's have a look at my iPhone 12. I'll do the Face ID on that. So you can see it's named the transfer of data. So as your Apple ID and phone number are now being used for iMessage and FaceTime on a new iPhone. So everything has now switched over from the 12 to the 13. So the only thing I need to do now is put the SIM card in and then I'm completely done in terms of this setup. So I'll take the pin that comes with the phone. You locate the part of the phone where the SIM card is stored. So it's on the side with the volume buttons push down with the pin slightly and that pulls out your SIM card holder. So we'll leave that there for a second. Now on the iPhone 12, we'll push in with the pin, pull this out. Now you can see that the card sits with the metallic side facing up. So we'll remove that from the iPhone 12 and then we will put it into the holder for the iPhone 13 and then we'll slot this into the phone. So in, I'll do the face ID again. And there we go, we have now got service. So we can see here that I've now got phone service on this phone. So that is it, that is the transfer of all of my data and all of my information from my old iPhone 12, which is now redundant, and onto my new beautiful iPhone 13. So pretty simple, pretty easy. You don't need to have any technical knowledge. You don't need to do anything special. It's literally, you just need the two phones alongside each other. You do have to wait for a little bit of time for the data to transfer. Mine took around about an hour, but I do have a lot of videos that I put onto YouTube. So that's how you go about setting up your iPhone 13. If you've liked what you've seen, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you again on the next video.